My mom said I came out of the bedroom at three with a jump rope in my hand singing Donna Summer. I would watch TV and all the talent shows on television. I'll be like, I can sing better than that girl. You know, like, if Simon Cow could hear me sing, he would know the difference. I quit my nursing job and I decided to take a bet on me because I'm coming, ready or not. I'm Christina Wells and I'm a singer songwriter from Houston, Texas. <laughs> And please welcome Christina Wells back to Great Day Houston, <laughs> along with Grammy Award winning music producer Billy Dorsey. Good morning. <laughs> There's so many reasons why people resonate with you, but one of them is, I think it's a lot of times people have a dream and a gift, and they think, but I can't really make a living doing that, or something kind of throws them off track, if you will. But you were those little girls, I had the hairbrush when I was little. Yeah, I had the jump rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, were, you were professional, because you, well, I mean, you had a- I needed the see, cord, yeah, I tried, see. I tried to pretend I had a wireless <laughs> mic at the time. Oh, you were ready, was, you were ready. At the time, there was no wireless <laughs> mic, so you had the whole cord. Yeah, I needed, I needed the full thing, yeah. But you you loved it, and, and you were singing ever since you were what, about, can Th you remember? Three, probably three or four, yeah. I don't think singing is a choice sometimes you know it's just like yeah. comes out of me yeah I just yeah. love the saying yeah well and Billy you recognize that in people there are those people who it's not something that's taught it's something it's that they innate. just have it's yeah. innate you have it yeah all right so um you you decided okay I'm gonna step out there a little bit you stepped out at uh was it Astroworld yes I did yeah. there was an audition Astroworld? yes the big yeah. 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 they had great the performers yes Astroworld. they did it was a, like a real goal of mine to sing at Astroworld yeah. and that I that was went. Houston's Broadway oh yeah well yeah that's a great way to put it because there was a stage it was a place for you to sing and I came to audition at Astroworld and and you know what, the audition was an amazing experience and now as a grown, fully developed adult, I can see that it was a growth moment for me. Yeah. But at the time, just being told no at the end and just being told it was about my size, they really had a vision for like a dancer body. And they were like, you have a great voice, but you're just too big for what we're trying to do. And I unfortunately accepted that as a lifetime sentence that I was too fat to sing. Yeah, so you thought I'll be a nurse instead. Yeah, exactly. I'll be, I'll be a nurse instead, I'm gonna raise my babies, I'm gonna you know, have a career, but I've learned that the package doesn't always have to be what everyone else says it has to be like I don't think I you know I'm not I'm not rocking the the size other people are but I'm rocking the right size and you're for rocking me. the right yeah. 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 yes yes all right uh, what got you back on course I actually decided to do a community theater show, like mm -hmm. a little community theater show out of Deer Park at Art Park Players. You guys have had them on mm -hmm. here before. Mm -hmm. And I was Motormouth, Maybelle, and Hairspray. And people acted like I was doing some real stuff on that stage. And I'm like, because you were. Well, okay. yeah. Because you were. <laughs> okay, Billy, we were having a, a, a green room conversation this morning. And right. we were talking about just kind of knowing when opportunities are right for you. That's and right. you said, you know, it's, there, there are certain things that aren't right for you. Don't worry about the things that pass you by. That's right. Motormouth Mabel was right for yeah, you. Yeah, it was. Right. It was right for me. It changed my life, actually. Yeah, that People, dancer body girl would not have gotten no, that part. No, exactly. And that's what I said. <laughs> right. Now I'm so grateful to be a big girl. Like, it fits with who I am and the, what I want to do. And singing in that show, people were coming to me and they're like, you should be a performer. And I'm like, I'm a nurse and I'm too old to be doing that stuff. Right. What you talking about? But uh, the past couple of years, just these amazing opportunities have just kind of, I won't lie, they've yeah. come, they've really come to me. Yeah. And I've had to decide, am I willing to take the risk and try to reach for my dream at 43? Yeah, but there, there, there is such a lesson in that, you know, and that sometimes people do walk away and they regret that and they hope maybe in some next life that yes. it, that'll come their yes. way. It's never too late to start. All right, America's Got Talent. Did you have in the back of your head that Astro World moment ever? Or did you just step out there and say, I'm, Oh no, I'm 100% I'm good. yes. I was like, here, I'm gonna go on national television and I'm gonna get so many people are gonna write and be like, who's that fat woman and why is she on our show? Like, I'm not even joking, I was so afraid. Mm -hmm. But I told myself if I'm gonna do it, huh, all the feelings, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it as Christina. Like, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna be confident, I'm gonna be exactly who I am. And if that's not okay, then that's that's fine. At least I went as me. Yeah. And so I went out there and I'm my same smiley, you see me waving like a crazy person <laughs> and talking to the audience and acting like a fool. But I mean, it was I was myself and when I say- There's I, another lesson there and that lesson is sincerity is always best. It's True. Being yourself. It's true. People sniff out something as fake, mm -hmm. right? Course, and that's what makes you so good. And again, that's what makes her music so good. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of people who can sing, yes. but there are not a lot, a lot of people who can make you really feel. Yes. <laughs> okay, but yeah. as, a, as a, a Grammy Award winner, I'm sure you get a lot of people, your family and everything going, hey, can you do a song for me? <laughs> yeah. Can you produce a song? I mean, everybody wants to do it. And there are a lot of great singers, but, but there are people that have a gift. Yeah. And then the part of it is being able to connect with people. And I always tell people of Christina that she gives you all the feels. Yeah. So you said feeling, that's it. That's yeah, our when word. When you said that, that's our word. That's our we word. Say, yeah. People always yeah. say that, that. So how I make them, right, come girl? On come on now. Girl, come on now. Come on now. There's a Deborah Duck and Christina Wells, you coming. I know yeah. it's coming.
But but seriously, that is a point because I think you know when it, somebody wants to do something, I get a lot of people say, "Oh, I want to be a talk show host." Okay, come on. What yeah, you're talking yeah. about. Come on. <laughs> right, right, yeah. 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 Right. Uh, but but it, it looks easy, and part of it is easy when it's your natural self. Yeah. Of course. And and but for you, it, there's a lot of work that goes oh, into this. And so, so for you, w- you, you said that she's and some people said to you, you need to be a performer. So not just a singer, yeah. but also a performer, mm-hmm. but yeah. also somebody that we love and that we can resonate with and ride your yes. wave with. Yes. And you know, part of that struggle was you f- you were surprised to find that people were like, uh uh-uh, uh, go ahead on, big girl, yeah, big so, beautiful girl. It right? is so go true. Ahead on. Yes, I've reached so many people have reached out to me and been like, I connect with you because, or I even just got a message two days ago where a woman told me, she's like, because of you, I feel more confident in my body. Because wow. of you, I feel more capable of doing the things that I want to do. And I'm like, I wrote back to her, I was like, girl, you just made my week because that's my goal. Like, if I can inspire anyone out there who is looking at themselves and judging themselves harshly and deciding maybe they're not good enough because of something they've decided is not good yeah. enough, let that go. Stand in your blessing. Live in what the talents and the gifts that we've all been given. Like, live in let it. Let the church say amen. I mean, it's just yeah. true. Yeah. Rock you know? your island dress right now. Oh, Rock I mean, your island dress. No, Here we go. We're going to do a fashion show. Christina I is mean, wearing a did, white exactly. island dress. I'm this bringing is you a summer. seven girls dream dress She's right here. She's giving you summer. She's right. giving you all the summer Shake it, but don't break it, girl. With the yes. red nail in one. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. You know. You know. <laughs> all right. Billy, really, tell us about her, her latest album. Uh, new album be coming at the end of the summer, mm-hmm. and uh, we've we've got our own name for it. We're going to hold that for yeah. right now. <laughs> but but the goal is is that all the feels that Christina is that every song gives people an, uh, a window into who she is and makes them feel the same way we yeah. feel. Yeah, you also have a fan package yeah. because now getting on America's yes. Got Talent, you have a world fan base. I actually do. Oh, I'm look at this super here. excited. Yes, we have a super fan packages, which is a a fan package of merchandise, autographed headshots, T-shirts. Actually, Billy's rocking one of the shirts right now. Yep. It's a lyric from Ready or Not my single. I won't be quiet. Um, yes. yes. We have a With live a voice stream. like yours, you cannot be quiet. Girl, I don't okay. know how to be, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the package, um, we have all different packages based on, you know, the level of support people want to give. But we even have a live stream concert we're doing at the end of the summer mm-hmm. where people all around the world are going to be able to watch a concert of me performing. And all of this stuff is going to be part of our super fan packages, which we're going to be bringing live this week. They're going to go live on sale this week for everyone to buy. But today we're going to give one super fan. Ah, yeah. we're going to give one away to one of our audience. Uh, you also have Susical. Yes, I right. have. Uh-huh. Yes, at Miller Tut's Theater Under the Stars is doing their Houston Public Works, um, which is amazing. They're bringing all these people into the community of theater. And we are doing Susical next week at Miller Outdoor Theater. Tickets are free July 16th through July 21st. I love it. Ready or not. Yes. So many of us want to wait till we're ready and we're never ready. No. So you just got to do it. That's right, baby. Okay. Yeah. She's going to do it for us right now. Here's Christina Wells with her single, Ready or Not. <laughs> not your friend Then I'm standing at the finish line cheering on for you to win In this life you're sure to find someone to pull you down They hate to see the smile you wear on your face Oh, can't stand to see your head in the clouds Everybody has that one And I
Yes, okay. Yes. Christina's single, Ready or Not, is available on iTunes, Spotify, and other streaming services. And don't forget, you can see her next week in Susical, yes. the musical at Miller Outdoor Theater. And for more information on Christina's Cadillac Shaping Houston story, and more on just her in general, log on to shapinghou.com. And you mentioned earlier, someone in our live studio audience is going home with a Christina Wells super fan package, and that person is, where is Brie Busby? <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I got you. <laughs>